Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Films of Ben C Entertainment here with another episode of Beatlethon. This time, a review of Magical Mystery Tour, the movie version. I remembered loving this as a kid, but I realized growing up that it wasn't that popular. There are reasons why I'll, I will go into. Before I go into this review, I think for the next two reviews, including this one, I don't think I'll be using that many pictures, and therefore I will make these reviews short because there's not many pictures I can find that are at least useful for my reviews here. So anyway, Magical Mystery Tour, the movie version, is basically like, well, here's how I can explain it. It's a TV movie made for TV, but it wasn't that popular when it came out because, um, People were expecting more of a Hard Day's Night-ish movie, and I can understand why the Beatles wanted to change because of the timing of every band doing the same old music back at the time, so the Beatles wanted to do something about it. So they came up with something like, well, actually at the time, they came up with Sgt. Pepper's Only Hardscope Band. They wanted to change their name, the their official name of the Beatles to that, but instead, I think something happened. I'm not even sure, but they just, they kept... Somehow they kept the name the Beatles. I think I don't know why, but in the Magical Mystery Tour, this is where they start doing things differently in this movie. So it starts off with Ringo, I think, going on to the Magical Mystery and he has an aunt. I'm sure his aunt is like fictional. And there's some par other parts of the movie that show like music and music videos and um some other parts which are psychedelic and that's what the movie is about, psychedelia, and this is where this part comes in because the Beatles experimented with psychedelia and music together. This is where things were different. There's only one part of the movie that makes you feel really uncomfortable, like Ringo's aunt eating a lot of spaghetti. That part made me feel uncomfortable because of my personal issue is I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, this could be an interesting movie for people who wanted to know what the Beatles did. Besides the Hard Day's Night to Help and Yeltsin Marine, the next movie I'm going to do. But anyway, for next time, like I said, Yeltsin Marine's going to be next. I'll try to keep that review almost short, but I think there's going to be a lot I'm going to talk about. So anyway, next time, Yeltsin Marine. See you next time.